We are currently at Spanish Springs and we have a fun video today. I am currently rolling my bowling ball to the Spanish Springs, oh, the Spanish Springs bowling alley. Um, we've eaten at the little pub here. Hold on, I'm trying to cross the road here. And... Okay, that was very hard to do, so we're back. Anyway, going to Spanish Springs lanes to show you what the bowling alley is like bowl a few games i know when i looked online you can actually reserve a lane online the different prices are online because every day there's some kind of different pricing guide not sure how much it's going to be today but we didn't reserve anything online we want to go in and see how crowded it, it is and what it's like to just get a lane and bowl a few games so whew, thanks thanks for pushing that or pulling that for me Let's go check it out. Now my parents are with us. They have their bowling balls too. Couple fun facts. We used to be in a bowling league. Oh, many, many years ago. And uh, let's try to pass this by. We bowled like every Thursday or something. So we ended up getting our own bowling balls, have our own bowling shoes, which you do save a few bucks having your own bowling shoes. And uh, here's my bag. But, there's a real bird right there. But, we have not bowled in about two or so years. It's been a while. You kind of met me on the outskirts of the whole league. That bird is just... <laughs> so you do not have um, a bowling ball or bowling shoes. If we ever... It's right here across from us. If we ever um, get back into a league, I could see to where you could get some bowling balls and bowling shoes right here spanish springs lanes now we did a video at mccall's tavern right here and um you can see the bowling alley from there over here they have i don't know is that like the bowling shop yes looks like the bowling shop there's the hours of the bowling shop they are not open on the weekends over here is the entrance to the bowling alley uh, I would recommend going online to the website and seeing the pricing guide, hours of operation. I know it's not SpanishSpringsLanes.com. It's a, some kind of company bought it out, I think. And that's how you access their website. But, um, oh, here you go. Oh, that's the pro shop still again. Oh, they've got some bowling balls in the pro shop. Look at that. Got quite a bit, actually. And over here we have equipment package. Look at this. Oh, there's nothing better than the smell of a good old bowling alley. I mean, we used to go all the time. Hey, that's got a... <laughs> that's got a, like, boxing glove in it. And then right here, proper shirt and shoes. And I know the restrooms are... They share with McCall's Tavern. And this is what it looks like in here. We've got the bowling balls. We've got the shoe return. Here are all the lanes. It looks like there are 30, 32 lanes. Some ice water sitting out. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I'm excited. It's been way too long. There's a practice league. We'll go up here and get us a lane. We're going to stand in line here. Well, it seems pretty busy. Let's see if this guy on 13 picks up the split. Oh, no. So up here, bowling price per game, $5.99. Shoes are $5.69. So it's nice to have your own shoes because you don't have to pay that price. Um, Sunday, fun day. It says every Sunday starting at 6 p.m., $3.99 uh, bowling games, $3.39 for shoes. And I know online, I think it was like $25 or so a person. But it's kind of like the top golf that we did to where you pay $25 a person. So for four of us, it's like $100 and you get up. Uh, hour and a half of bowling so as many games as you can bowl in an hour and a half and then I think of parties it was, that was for parties up to six six or more you get two hours of bowling for that price I think again would recommend looking at the um, website this says coupons and practice games usage and then down here weekly specials I'm just going to go look at that really fast wow the village hall of fame they got some lockers over here the open tournament on the back of this sign it said something like weekly specials so night strike 
unlimited bowling and shoe rental. Monday 7, Tuesday 7, Wednesday 7, Thursday 7, 1349 after party, 1749 unlimited bowling Fridays and Saturdays starting at 8 and then Sunday fun day 339 starting at 6. So pretty cool you can see what it looks like over here. Now no food or drink in the bowler's circle. While we're still waiting in line here I'm going to grab one of these food menus because you can also get some food here they got beer cocktails signature cocktails starters so it does remind me of like top golf where you can come in get some food do some bowling it actually seems like a pretty good menu um, not super bad on the prices uh, I mean Nowadays, anything's pretty expensive, but you know, you're looking at around $15 for a huge monster burger there. Pizza party. If you've eaten over here at the bowling alley, let us know what your favorite thing to get and how good everything is. That's just a repeat of the beer menu. Let us know what to get. They do have some coffee right here, $2.69 plus tax. I know there's quite a bit of information coming in because um, it seems like there's quite a bit going on. Back there, M&M's, $2.50 plus tax. One thing I don't like about bowling alleys is they usually put you right next to somebody else when there's a lot of um, lanes open. So kind of hope we're over sort of by ourselves. Now back where we used to bowl in Missouri, we went so often that the guy knew us. So he would actually give us two lanes for four of us and we could just rotate lanes as we bowled. That was really fun. And then if you've been in the league, you know they do have some um, fun games. What was our ten, Irish 10 pin or something? Was that the game we played in the league where you one bowler bowls first and then the second, do you remember? We think it was maybe called Scottish 10 pin or something there was also one where if you just got a nine it was counted as a strike and then down here at the very end there's also a bar so we'll just have to see where we're at but there's a bar down there as far as shoe sizes i only see them going up to like 11 so if you do happen to have a large shoe size maybe they have them over on this side and not just out and about they probably only have a select few there's size eight women's also, they put a hold on your card. I love the palm tree painting around it. Um, but they put a hold on your card because you don't have to pay for how many games ahead of time. You bowl the amount of games, then you come and pay at the end. So instead of saying like, oh, I'm going to just bowl two games and then coming back and saying, can we bowl two more? You just bowl your amount of games and then you go pay at the end. All right. He told us we're in lane 27. Bowl as many games as you want. I think he said bowl till you're sick and tired of bowling and then come and check out. So that's what we're doing here. Um, there's that McCall's Tavern. They do have windows that you can look out and see um, people bowling. Down here is a little, please see bartender inside McCall's for service. So it looks like right now only inside uh, McCall's for the service. It does look like they can't open this up though. And we're down here at 27. Oh yeah, we're not, well, I guess we are kind of next to somebody, but doesn't seem like they're bowling anymore. We're looking back at some of our old scores and my mom said it was nine no tap. There's one ball there. Mine, my ball I have not used in a long time, so I feel like if I throw it, it might just like bust in half. I don't know, but I did bring the GoPro. I might strap it on me one time and launch a ball. So I definitely try to match everything. You can see the little green shoestrings, the green bag, and then I'll show you my ball here in a second. We've got all the accessories too here. Look at this. So I did bring the GoPro just in case. I don't know if I'll wear it or not. We've got the little ball spray. And if you see the ball spray actually looks like a pin. Um, if we open up this spot here, let's see. Oh yeah, this has been, hopefully there's no spiders or roaches in here. Look at, oh yeah, it's dirty. Um, but here is, here's my ball matches. See, see how everything kind of matches here. Mine's not scented. I uh, got the little powder for your hand here. This reminds me of the big Lebowski when they're cleaning their bowling balls and got a nasty old towel. So, fits right in. You got a tropical breeze. Did, wasn't it scented? Didn't it smell like something? Birthday cake. Birthday cake? Does it still? Uh, eh. It smells like oil. Oil. Oh, it smells like birthday cake, yeah. There we go. 
Yeah, this is the one thing I don't like is they just move somebody right next to us. So there's really not enough seats. There's only six and we have four, so I guess. Uh, uh, this is, uh, I don't I don't like when they do that when they have 30 some lanes. Tim's is up and it's been a while for her too. Look at that. Hey, not bad. Woohoo! I'll do my best at showing some of us bowl, but I think this first game, we just got to warm up. Like I said, dust off the old bowling balls, the shoes, get the cobwebs off the bag, and um, get back into the groove. All right, let's see if my mom can bring us back here. Hey, there we go, though. Woohoo! Now, we used to do, when we were playing all the time, if you get a strike, you got to do a dance. I don't think we'll do that today because it's uh, we got people right next to us, but used to do the old dance when you get a strike. Wow, she is showing us up. She came to bowl. Timber just uses my mom's ball. Um, that way we all just kind of share the same bowling balls. Go good. One of my least favorite pins, the 10 pin. Ugh. I just missed it, but uh, we got our first strike here. Anytime there's a turkey, we go woo -woo. Also, they don't have music playing, so that's kind of weird at the moment. Oh yeah, they did up front, yeah, but currently they don't. See the big Spanish Springs thing right there in the middle. So for this first game, we're just trying to get warmed up. We're just playing. Not gonna show any scores, but just warming up. We are also in the eighth frame right now. Don't know how well this is gonna work, but I've got the GoPro hooked up and we're gonna see what it looks like bowling. All right, we just finished the first game not showing those scores. Now we should be warmed up, ready to go. Also, when you're done with the game, it says to start bowling a new game, player one, start bowling. So you don't have to hit like new game or anything like that. You go into your exercise and you have to dig a little bit, but scroll down, you've got your- uh, Bowling. Bowling. Huh. Interesting. I <laughs> can't. <laughs> I didn't get it on film, but as he was getting ready to- <laughs> As he was getting ready. <laughs> Did someone walk up and get me a 13? <laughs> What's the bottom look 13. like? Are your socks sticking through? <laughs> I'm crying. It's been a while, huh? I didn't, I didn't film him starting, but as soon as he was getting ready, to... <laughs> the sole of the shoe just flew right off, rolling down the field. That was one of the funniest things we've ever seen. Again, look, there, there's the poor shoe. It just blew its heel right off. Blew the sole right off. They do have a league going on now. It's a Saturday afternoon league. So that's probably why they pushed us all the way down here. No, I don't know. No. Oh boy, this isn't good. I have to show the score. Okay, I'm having the game of my life right now. I have five strikes and my shoe just blew out. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Oh, this is bad. This is bad, 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 bad. Very bad. I'm having the game of my life and my soul just blows right out. This is the craziest day of bowling I've ever seen in my life. So I just put on my dad's good shoe. We almost wear the same size. I've got my good shoe on and um, well, that's that. I'm literally not trying to brag right now, but this might be the best I've ever done. There's six in a row. I, I'm so nervous right now. Oh. All right, guys, this is a ticking time bomb. I'm not touching these. Uh, they're about to blow out too. Oh man, the streak ended there, but I think that might be the most strikes I've gotten in a row. I'm so scared right now. Um, again, this might be the best game I've ever bowled. Barstool Sports Cheese Steaks. That was something that showed Barstool's Cheese Steaks. Okay, that was the best I've ever done. I'm like shaking right now. All right, we're gonna do one more game and call it. So we'll have three total games. 
this might be the funniest <laughs> this might be the funniest uh bowling day ever my dad just said he's, he's not feeling it today it feels like he's throwing a raisin down the <laughs> down the lane all right we made it through this third game we've got one bowler left one bowler left the craziest bit of bowling i think we've ever had in our life Finish big. Man, they're not wanting to fall today. All right, we are all finished. It actually got kind of quiet in here. But what'd you just say? I'm in with two good pairs of bowling shoes, walking out, but can't say the <laughs> And how fitting. Check your soles. Wet shoes could cause injury. What, a, what about no soles? Might cause some injury too. So we ended up playing what? Three games apiece. There were four of us, so do the math times six. You know, each game's six times four, 24, 20, 40, 60, about 70 bucks, I'd say, plus some of the shoes. So I'd say looking around 80-ish dollars total for all of it, for some good laughs. And then if we uh, bring our stuff right down here, we will have to, we should put our shoe in there. Right down here, we're gonna have to come in here and buy us some new shoes sometime. They've got some shoes over there. And with that, we are leaving. What an experience that was. Well, I don't even know how, what to say. That was the most interesting day of bowling I think um, any of us have ever experienced. I will say the one um, thing I wish. You might have had a more interesting day that with your aunt. Yeah, my aunt one time slipped on the lane and broke her arm, it was bad. And then I passed out. The only time I've ever passed out in my life. And in fact, kind of a side note, we talked about um, right before we bowled, all the times people have passed out, and I said, I have never passed out before. Fell, broke her arm, it was dangling, it was gross. Got lightheaded, woke up on the floor. I did break my wrist one time, I think it just kind of brought back some memories. So, there's that story. However, this is the funniest. Time. This was funny. I just wish I would have been able to film the sole of his shoe flying off as he was stepping to bowl. I mean, when he kicked his leg up to step, the thing flew right off. And then I sit down, and mine falls off. Who? It was just crazy. And a record-breaking day. I, That's true. That was something. I broke um, 100. You did, yeah. That's always a goal. We got more consistent in that third game, um, but that was my new high, so that was cool. Well, it would be something. It's a dream of mine to get a 300. Two pins away, you know, I, I can't complain. I'd like to give all the credit to God on that one because, uh, yeah, that was, that was not me. But anyway, fun time. He didn't charge for the shoes, for my dad's shoes, since we had the blowout. And uh, now you know what Spanish Springs looks like. If you go, you might have a heck of a time. With that being said, that does it for today. Thanks for watching.